Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. In this video we want to try to carve a boomerang out of a banded stick. How? Exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud to have a special guest today. This is Julius from the YouTube channel Smooth Gefixed. What's up folks? Smooth Gefixed is one of my favorite bushcraft and survival channels. And if you don't know his channel, please check the link in the description or you find also the link at the end of this video. Julius and me, we was already about one hour searching for a good piece of wood and we found this wood pile and in this wood pile I recovered this cherry wood banded branch and I hope out of this branch I can make a nice boomerang. I'm sure carving a boomerang is a science. There are thousand factors who affect the flying track or the behavior of the boomerang in the air. But on the other side, every banded stick who is carved down to a flat board with this air wings profile should fly back if you throw it with a rotation. I decided to try to craft as much as possible with my Swiss army knife. First step is to cut the branch to the desired length. So, I decided to try to split the whole branch in the half. This is high risk, but in my opinion, this is the only way how it's possible to make a boomerang just with a Swiss Army knife. Otherwise, you need an axe. Now I split from the second side. And don't forget, don't split with the full open knife. So like this, you, dest you destroy the spring. Always split when the knife body is clapped in 90 degree. And now I have to decide which part I take and then I have to flatten the first splitting surface as good as possible.
Now I start to split the second side. This is again a little risk. So I, I hope the crack will go outside, not the inside. But uh, we will see. Say until now, it's okay, but I have to be very careful. I think the second side I can't. It's already seen. I carved my branch to a flat board. Now I start to profile the board. The front side is always a radius, the back side is a tapered flat. And if you throw the boomerang, the radius, the nose, is always in the front and the tapered flat comes behind. The profile side face always against you, the flat side on the other side. Whew. Yeah folks, back in Switzerland and today we're making uh, boomerangs, yes that's right. And yours will return, Yeah. right? We're supposed to be. <laughs> And mine is hunting style, which won't return. How, how much chance uh, that we succeed this project, uh, Felix? What do you think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My project or yours? Fifty percent. Now I'm already finished with my boomerang. I show you the shape, and as you can see, the flat side is not really straight, it's bended here in this part. But I gave, I gave my best, and now I have to try out if the boomerang works. Actually, we wanted to make the first test shot with my boomerang, but exactly at this moment, wind and rain was coming. So it was impossible to throw the boomerang. But uh, now we changed location, and uh, I decided to try to bend down the flat side of the boomerang like this. And I hope I will have the better flying track when this curve is bent down.
as you can see, the bending work over the fire was pretty successful. And now we search for a good spot where we can make the first test shots. Yay! Before it's getting dark. <laughs> yeah, super smooth, uh, Felix. So tomorrow I try to improve the profile and then let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed. So, but uh, that's life. <laughs> is broken after the third attempt oh no <laughs> of course I try to glue it but I'm skeptic that this works but that's life Okay, my friends, meanwhile, it's two weeks ago since Julius visited me in Switzerland and in the last two weeks I had only few time to work on my boomerang project. I made the boomerang a bit flatter and I shortened both legs three centimeters. At my first test shots the weight of the boomerang was about 160 grams. Now, with the drying process and with the material I took away, the weight is under 100 grams. In the last two weeks, I realized how difficult it is to make a boomerang out of such a bended branch with a Swiss army knife as only tool. Actually, I'm pretty happy with the result. Okay, the boomerang doesn't fly back perfect to me, but at least he flied a nice curve, and that makes me happy. A friend of mine gave me the tip that the boomerang with three or with four arms usually easier fly back than a boomerang with just two arms. Now I have the idea to try to carve a boomerang out of a fork. Probably this is one of my next carving projects, we will see. So thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!